And yo mga katongs, good morning and welcome again to my channel, Tong TV. And again, I am Nimrod Tong Arpio. So I'm presently working here at Chunju University here at South Korea as university professor. So again, welcome to this vlog, welcome to this channel, and for today's vlog, we're going to continue the thesis tutorial. So we are already in our third vlog, and thank you so much again for supporting the first and second vlog. And for today's vlog, we're going to have a new topic, how to construct a thesis title. So as I mentioned to you last time, thesis topic is different from thesis title. For this vlog, we're going to deal with thesis title. So we all know that when you say thesis title, this is the product of your thesis topic and it is more specific than your thesis topic. So today we're going to deal with three objectives. Number one, what is the formula in constructing a thesis title? Second, what are the things that you need to remember in constructing a thesis title? And the third one is what are the don'ts that you need to remember while writing a thesis title? Be sure that your thesis title contains the following. Letter A, the topic. Letter B, the sample. And letter C, the possible results of your study. For example, on this title, Effects of Professor's Physical Features to Hospitality Management Student's Study Habits. So what are the three criteria that we are looking for? So I already mentioned to you the topic, the sample, and the product. So what is the topic? So the topic is the effects of professor's physical features. Okay, so that is our main topic. When you say sample, who are your respondents or possible participants? So in this title, we are talking about the hospitality management student. And lastly, the results or the possible results is the study habits. Okay, so those three criteria will help you to conceptualize and construct your own thesis title. So the second objective is about the things that you need to remember while writing or constructing your thesis title. So number one, avoid using jargons. So what is jargon? So when we say jargons, these are the words that are quite difficult to understand by common readers. For example, you're going to use a word that is only understandable by people or students who are studying in a certain field. So for sure, other people or other students or other reader will find difficulty in understanding your own thesis title. So make it simple. Make sure your title is composed of 5 to 15 words. To have a very long title, more than 15 words, there is might a possibility that you're going to use unnecessary words. So please avoid that but if it is quite short for sure your title will cannot understand well by the reader so for example you're going to write a title which is african politics so what's with the african politics so it's very very short so most likely you can use 5 to 15 words lastly the third one be sure to know the policies and guidelines of your own university because there are some universities that have their own specific policies and guidelines regarding the thesis title especially if they have a research agenda for example uh, for this year the research agenda is about qualitative studies quantitative studies or even mixed method or experimental etc etc so those kind of research designs might affect your construction of your thesis title that's why be sure to check it with your research advisor or even the research office of your university the third objective of this blog is about the list of don'ts that you need to remember when you are writing your thesis title. Number one, please avoid using these phrases. A study of, an investigation of, results of, etc. etc. Why? Because obviously you are doing a thesis or a research. So it is understandable that you are doing a study. If you are in a science or chemistry field, avoid using chemical symbols for example h2o ch4 so you may use the common term or common names or the generic name so that your reader will know what about that another one avoid using roman numeral another one avoid using semicolons instead colon is very useful to make your title to have a two parts another one please avoid using acronyms 
or abbreviations. So, for example, going to include the name of your school. Instead, present the whole name or the full name of your school. But there are some abbreviations that are acceptable. For example, RNA, DNA. So, they are uh, generally acceptable because it's, it's a general knowledge and it is easy to understand what you are talking about. Another one, if you're going to use a scientific name, do not shorten it. So instead, write the full scientific name of the subject that you are going to study. Another is avoid using numerical symbols. So for example, kilometer, meter, centimeters, etc. etc. So use the whole word instead of uh, abbreviation. So that's it. Those are the different things that you need to remember if you're going to write a thesis title. Especially, remember the criteria that needs to be present in your thesis title. And for me, a thesis title should be creative, but the content of your study should be there. Why? Because the objective of your study is to let the people read your paper. So make it more informative and attractive to the readers. Okay, so again, thank you so much. And please don't forget to subscribe if you are just new in this channel. And please don't forget to share this with your friends. And my next vlog is about introduction. So we're going to dig in straight to the content of a thesis so introduction is the next vlog so again thank you so much and see you on my next vlog annyeong, annyeong, annyeong.